monarch butterfly symbolizes a natural, cyclical migration pattern as they travel from Canada to the United States to central Mexico. Humans, too, have a long history of migrating in search of food, jobs, and physical safety. Indeed, the history of the human race is one of migration. My name is Hassan. After my first year, I left Pakistan and left Pakistan. My father thought that it was the best thing to do for the first time. So, we left it and left it. Now, I am 21 years old. And in this country, I don't have any papers. My name is Javier. I have 24 years old. I came to the United States when I was 14 years old. Because life in Mexico was very difficult. Now I am an immigrant and documented here in the United States in search of a better future. My name is Angel. I am 21 years old. I came to the United States when I was 13 because my, my mother could not find a job in Indonesia. I am now an undocumented immigrant in the United States and I am a Hunter College student. You may have encountered an undocumented person, what most people incorrectly refer to as illegals. You may have shared a calculus class, you may have even dated one. You are sympathetic to the plight of undocumented people because you are aware that the current immigration system is broken. Let's take a look at the current conversation on immigration reform, keeping in mind the human face behind immigration policy. My family left Colombia in 1994 to escape violence and poverty in Colombia. There was no upward mobility. We live in, in really poor extreme conditions, so we came to the United States. Some of the sacrifices that we have to make to be able to remain in the United States are really big sacrifices and really small sacrifices. Many times forget that we deserve to be treated as humans too, and so we sacrifice our own dignity and humanity to work underpaid jobs or to allow our bosses to exploit us just so we could bring some food to the table or to be able to remain hidden in the shadows in case our boss threatens us, at least that's what's happened to me before. You sacrifice your own happiness, your love, to provide for someone else. I've seen my mom do it all the time. It's okay if she is not happy, if she is not treated as an equal, as long as her children are. And I think those are sacrifices that many immigrant people make to be able to remain here in the U.S. To kind of just forget about themselves and forget that they need to be treated as human beings as well. My name is Alexandra Ruiz and I am the founder and executive director of the not-for-profit organization Immigration Advocacy Matters. There really isn't um, a pathway to citizenship or a pathway to legalization. So if you're brought here by your family members that are undocumented, you have no way of becoming a citizen. After 9-11, the federal agency, ICE, Immigration Customs Enforcement, came into being and this really shifted the way that we treated immigrants. They were focusing on enforcing immigration policy. One of their signature programs are secure communities. Secure communities allows the state um, and cities within that state to work directly with ICE in order to detain undocumented immigrants. The Obama administration has spent over $18 billion on immigration, which includes the detention of individuals. That is $166 per person per day. Every day you see undocumented immigrants detained and they are sent to private prisons. Uh, these prisons reap the benefits of federal funding. You know, if you're going to criminalize a group of people, then maybe we should really talk about why they're coming into our country to begin with. And maybe politicians should really look at NAFTA, uh, the North American Trade Agreement that has pretty much dismantled industries in Mexico, forcing people to cross the border in search for work. Immigration is an American issue. As Martin Luther King said, an injustice to one is an injustice to everyone. Migration is natural and beautiful, an act of necessity to flourish and thrive under conditions of turmoil. The history of the human race is one of migration, to endure and never be daunted by the adversity of resettlement. Presently, adversity has arrived in the form of restrictions and laws that estrange immigrants from attaining rights necessary to become American citizens. So let us dare to imagine a more humane immigration reform that better protects the rights of those degraded under the term illegal, and like the monarch butterfly, embody and embrace the natural and necessary act of migration.